In 2009, the Sorrento began a new life without a reduction gear, with a monocoque body, independent suspension and automatic all-wheel drive. In its first generation, the Kia Sorento is a typical versatile SUV from the late 90s and early 2000s. The low-profile frame structure, a continuous rear axle on springs and an independent front suspension ensured good handling on asphalt and acceptable off-road capability. After restyling in 2004, Sorento began to be assembled in Izhevsk, and, according to the owners, this did not lead to loss in quality. However, as if foreseeing a great future for the mid-size crossover, Kia management decided not to update the outdated design, but to start from scratch. Kia Sorento made a decisive step on asphalt in its second generation in 2009, and this act turned out to be both timely and promising. Sorento began a new life with a monocoque body, without lowering, with a transverse engine, independent suspension, and automatic all-wheel drive. This radically changed the behavior of the car on the pavement, which alienated orthodox motorists from itself, but in return brought many new supporters to the Sorrentist camp. The Korean crossover, as is customary in our time, shares the platform and units with the fellow concern, Hyundai Santa Fe. Both, in turn, received the fifth-generation Sonata passenger platform. Our hero, who appeared three years later than Santa Fe, managed to do without childhood diseases in this way, and after restyling in 2012, he became almost problem-free at all. The new generation confidently diverges both in the primary and in the secondary market. The price range is from 650,000, car of 2010, to 1,135,000 rubles. Year 2012. There are not too many offers. At the time of writing, 133 cars of 2009 to 2012 were sold in Moscow. The new ones sold an average of about 600 crossovers a year, which clearly indicates the unwillingness of the owners to throw off the car even in anticipation of updates that Koreans have quite often. The main problems with the car arose among those who somewhat overestimated the off-road capabilities of the Sorento, although the poetic name hinted at a certain softness rather than rudeness of road, songs, and more romantic than brutal adventures on the road. In a word, it is clear that the most problems for new crossovers in the early years of production arose with the suspension and chassis. It was possible to get to replace the thrust bearings of the front hubs not even after 50,000, but already after 15,000 kilometers. But this run had to take place in such extreme conditions, as, for example, with the famous designer Artemy Lebedev, when his motor fell off in his Mamusic Range Rover Vogue. The suspension is completely independent, McPherson in front, multi-link in the back. The rear one often suffered precisely from suspension diseases, and the front one fell mainly on bearings, CV joints, and other elements of the chassis. In a word, if a knock is heard from behind, you should immediately inspect the shock absorbers, most likely, they will need to be replaced. Sorrento suspension seems stiff to many, but in fact it is not the most energy-intensive and heavy loads make the shock absorbers work in full range. Replacing the rear will cost 3,200 rubles. A piece. You can replace the springs with softer ones, but with a progressive characteristic, 20,000 with installation. The front hub bearings are replaced as an assembly with the hub and will cost, surprisingly, only 5,500 rubles. It is clear that the bones of the stabilizers are also flying, from 400 rubles, if you look for a non-original one. Some owners have experienced knocking in the steering after the first severe cold. Change the power steering fluid. In general, the suspension and chassis live the warranty period without any complaints, and for careful drivers they last much longer. Two engines were installed on the Kia Sorento R, a 2.4-liter gasoline and a 2.2-liter diesel, on the Santa Fe New, by the way there is also a 3.5-liter V6. While diesels have always been apprehensive in Russia, the compression ignition engine proved to be only marginally less popular than the gasoline engine, despite the hefty price difference. For a turbo diesel, it was necessary to pay almost 80,000, and if you throw another 60,000 on an automatic transmission, we get the recipe for the perfect Sorento, diesel with an automatic. And it's not so much about efficiency, but about the weak dynamics of crossovers with the 2.4 engine. Moreover, if the start from a place is still quite tolerable, then the elasticity, accelerating dynamics at speeds above 60 km h upsets. Especially in cars with a manual transmission, the gears in which are selected as if not for a heavy crossover, but for a small car. 
A diesel engine has a funny malfunction by the age of three years. A metallic knock appears in the area of the right front wheel. No, a rattle. After diagnosing hubs, levers, ball joints and replacing half of the suspension, the sound, however, occurs again and again. Well, when suddenly the car loses its generator, hydraulic booster and the brake pedal stands up, it becomes clear that the belt drive is to blame. Specifically, a pulley on the crankshaft. The small rubber gasket that is there under the influence of chemistry on the road shrinks, and the pulley turns. Replacement will cost 4,500 rubles. Pulley with gasket, 3,500 and work, 1,000, but unforgettable sensations will remain for a lifetime. At the same time, diesel engines are generally as reliable as gasoline engines, and, which is especially pleasant, they easily start in any frost if there is the right fuel in the tank. In the same way that a snake periodically sheds its skin, a Sorrento steering wheel can also bald. The main dissatisfaction of the owners of Kia Sorrento are is caused by finishing materials, durability of the body paintwork and body kit plastic. The body, in principle, is not the most rigid in the class. For example, on a posted crossover, the fifth door may stop closing. When driving on rough roads, creaking and crackling sounds are heard in the cabin, especially in the rear part near the second row of seats and the trunk curtain. But the cargo compartment is the real pride of Kia in terms of capacity. It is divided into three levels, under the raised floor there is a huge niche, under which there is another, technological one. In total, the trunk volume reaches 472 liters, which provided leadership in the class at the time of release. True, this applies only to five-seater models, in the seven-seater underground, consider it not and behind the third row there is only a couple of bags left. In Russia, four configuration options were offered. The most expensive version was equipped with full power accessories, navigation, and automatic climate control. Only old cards and not very high quality sound of the audio system can disappoint. Failures of electrical equipment do not annoy, but there may be minor misunderstandings like a different tuning grid for the radio receiver of cars from the USA. But the instability of the paint of body panels and body kit parts, alas, is very typical. There are no frankly corrosive places in the Sorrento of the second generation, but damage to the paintwork can become foci of the spread of the red plague. And getting chips and scratches, as it turned out, is very simple. Body parts, however, are inexpensive, from $100 to $300, depending on the degree of eminence of the manufacturer and the completeness of the spare part. The rear bumper consists of two parts. The lower one is more often damaged, by the way, it is quite expensive, about 10,000 rubles, and almost never found in the original. In a word, when driving over rough terrain, you need to be more careful. If the first generation Sorrento could still portray something on a fairly serious off-road, then the new generation can be called not off-road, but all-weather. Automatic all-wheel drive and a ground clearance of 185 millimeters, in principle allow you to move carefully even on badly broken roads, but it's not worth the risk. Yes, and skill is needed. Not only is the geometric cross-country ability not pleasing, but also the drive connection clutch does not provide sufficient force in difficult conditions. But there are also front-wheel drive Sorrento. Here, even the traction control system will not help, no matter how much ESP is turned off. However, we must pay tribute to the Kia crossover. There are practically no breakdowns of the all-wheel drive clutch, and therefore you cannot call it helpless. It is important not to overestimate the capabilities of the car. The Kia Sorento crossover is perfect for those who need, as they say, a lot of all-wheel drive car for little money. Since the brand at the time of the release of the model has not yet fallen into the category of prestigious ones, the prices for it are added up without taking into account the costs of reputation, especially in the secondary market. Here you can find Sorrento Russian, Kazakh and American assembly. The overwhelming majority are Russian, from Izhevsk and later from Kaliningrad. Since the assembly is screwdriver, we can say that all the cars of the old world are Korean, which is good news. From the recommendations of the general plan, you can, as always, advise to be extremely careful about the traces of an accident and possible body repairs, so that after that you do not encounter growing rust and cracks in the power elements of the body. So, if everything is taken into account, feel free to drive, because the old love does not age and does not rust. Therefore, it is never too late to return to Sorrento and return to Sorrento.